Welcome to 10625 Potoka Road in Franklin Township, also Franklin School District. This home's located on Indianapolis's southeast side. It is just a hop, skip, and jump away from 465 Post Road. Gonna pan around the area. This uh, development is full of huge homes. Um, this home is over a little over 4,300 square feet. It offers five bedroom, four and a half bath. It's been freshly painted and you'll enjoy this home. It's got a ton of rooms and each room is spacious. Each bedroom is, it's got its walk-in closet. This home is a brick exterior home. So it is energy efficient with high efficiency windows. We'll take a look at the downstairs first and then mosey on up to the upstairs. As you walk in the formal foyer, you'll see off to your left is the formal dining room. Plenty of room for a full size table and chairs, probably enough for at least 10 to 12 chairs. This home does offer air conditioning. And off to the right as you enter in, I'm going to call this the study or den. Basically the same size as the dining room. As you enter into the main living area, you see that it does offer a gas fireplace. It does have a closet off the living room for storage, pillows, blankets, what have you, shoes. And just off of the living room, conveniently, is the kitchen. And it's very spacious. It's got a ton of cabinets, all on laminate wood flooring. I also have a computer desk area, slash a ton of cabinets. <laughs> you do have a patio door off the back side. morning room here or a dining niche. Very large center island. This, is off, this uh, home offers nine foot ceilings on the lower level. It's got an upper and lower oven. So you got two ovens. It does have all stainless steel appliances, side by side refrigerator with ice and water on the door, dishwasher, microwave. Also includes garbage disposal. And right off of the kitchen, you'll see a huge walk-in pantry. And I'll just give you a visual here. I'll actually walk in and do a complete about face. You do have your main water shut off here in the pantry, in case there's ever a, a leak of any sort. Each room has a light or ceiling fan. Each closet has a light. And while we're down here, I'll have you so we can view the guest bathroom downstairs. This is the only bathroom downstairs. It's a little half bath, so your guests won't have to climb the stairs every time they need to use the facilities. It also has another closet. It's got plenty of storage here. That goes way back in there, underneath the stairwell. Let's walk upstairs and take a look at, oh, before we do that, let's take a look at the fifth bedroom. This is, would be the guest quarters. This again would be the fifth bedroom or the fourth full bath. 
And again, this home has been freshly painted, so it is very fresh. The guest bathroom or bedroom has its own full bath. When they did this home, they did it right. It's all one piece tubs throughout. No need for caulking and very, very durable. All six panel white interior doors. And again, massive closets in each room. And I'll pan around the rest of the room. And while we're here, we'll take a look at another closet. I mean, just a, just a ton of closets here. What makes this garage really unique, or this home really unique, is it's got one 16 foot door and one smaller eight foot door. So you've got, this is a three car garage. 200 amp service. It does have a gas furnace, gas water heater, gas stove. Now we can go upstairs. I'm dying to get upstairs and take a look at this massive master bedroom. It's as big as any of the living rooms. I think I walked it off earlier. It was roughly 18, 19 wide by 25 deep. And when you enter the upstairs, you got the upstairs family room. Again, guys, this is as big as the master bedroom. So again, this home offers a little over 4,300 square feet. straight to the master bedroom here. Wow. Massive. Nice vaulted ceilings. Looks like a brand new, nice hunter ceiling fan. Got the nice up ledging up above for flowers and what have you in storage. Plenty of linen storage in this master bathroom. It's got his and her sinks, separate stand-up shower and whirlpool tub. It does not, it's not a jacuzzi, so it doesn't reheat it. It's a whirlpool, so it does circulate. And a nice larger oversized stand-up shower so it doesn't feel like you're in a phone booth taking a shower. Kind of giving you the guys the once over here. Master bathroom is also very spacious. And this has to be, in all my years of doing this, this has to be one of the largest walk-in closets I've ever seen. Pretty deep. I'm assuming this smaller section would be his and the larger section in the back would be hers, but depending upon the, the arrangement, you definitely got plenty of space regardless. Wow, this is as large as some of the smaller bedrooms I've seen. You've got a window in the closet, you know it's big. And I'll give you a different view here of the master bedroom. Okay, let's take a look at the upstairs second, third, and fourth bedrooms. 
And again, each of the bedrooms have walk-in closets. The entire upstairs is carpeted. It's like a nice 30, 40 ounce carpeting. Except for the wet areas, they are lino. Again, this walk-in closet here. And this was built fairly new because you know that because they actually put the washer and dryer upstairs where it belongs. So you don't have to walk up and down the stairs. This home does have a washer and dryer hookup. It has gas or electric. Also has a water softener. This is the full bath upstairs. And we'll take a look at the third and fourth bedroom upstairs. This, this is unique. It's got the Jack and Jill bathroom. Um, in other words, the bathroom, a full bath, is shared by the third and fourth room, bedroom, inside the room. So there's no access to the outside of the, of the bathroom. The way to access is to go in through one of the bedrooms. Each one of these bed, third and fourth bedrooms are identical in size and have identical walk-in closet, it appears. And massive closets. That's definitely a huge bonus. And again, the full bath, all one piece tubs. And finally, the fourth bedroom. And before I go, I'll kind of look at the back side of this bathroom. Huge walk-in closet in this room as well. And I'll finish up downstairs. Again, this is a, a home at 10625 Potoka Road. That's in Franklin Township in the Franklin School District. This home's a little over 4,300 square feet. It offers five bedroom, four and a half bath with a three car full garage. If this is a home that you're interested in seeing, please give us a call. At 317-484-8444, extension 1. Or if you're interested in learning more about the home or see some additional photos that we have, look us up on the web at www.rpmndmetro.com. Thank you very much.